In 1976, Montreal hosted the world. To celebrate the Olympics, the city commissioned a stadium that was supposed to be a masterpiece of modern engineering. It was bold, it was futuristic, and it was a financial catastrophe. The project went so far over budget that it took the citizens of Montreal 30 years to pay it off. They didn't finish paying for the 76 games until 2006. Locals stopped calling it the Olympic Stadium. They gave it a new name, the Big O. The design featured the tallest inclined tower in the world, built to hoist a retractable Kevlar roof into the sky on cables. On paper, it was genius. In reality, the mechanism was too complex. The fabric ripped in the wind. The roof never truly worked, and engineers eventually sealed the eye shut permanently. Despite the flaws, the stadium was the home of the Montreal Expos for 28 seasons and hosted the CFL's Alouettes. But the venue was notoriously cold and cavernous. It felt more like a concrete bunker than a ballpark. The Expos eventually abandoned it, moving to Washington, D.C. in 2004. Today, the stadium has no permanent tenant, and the roof is still so fragile that if it snows more than three centimeters, the building is legally required to close. It is a billion-dollar monument to hubris, designed for the future, but broken by the reality of the present.